Greetings, Diocese of Olympia. In July, I traveled to Little Rock, Arkansas, which many of you know is essentially home for me. I met over 20 of our youth from around the diocese as they traveled around the South and followed the civil rights struggle there, what existed in the past, but even more what still remains. It was a powerful time to be on that journey as the day I landed, Alton Sterling had been shot by police in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And the next day, Philando Castile was shot by police in St. Paul, Minnesota. And then the next day, while we were still making this trip around Little Rock, the Dallas shootings. The need for studying this history and walking this path could not have been more real and more clear. We traveled to Little Rock Central High and learned about the Little Rock Nine stood where they made their stand and heard the stories of how it went then and how it goes now. We visited the African American Museum of Little Rock called Mosaic and the Clinton Presidential Library. The youth heard from those most affected by this struggle along the way and from those who have studied it as well. At Little Rock Central we were joined by a professor at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, one of my alma maters, who told me something I had never known. In growing up in Little Rock all that time I didn't know that all the Japanese internment camps in the U.S. all were in the West except two, and those two were in Arkansas, the farthest two east. I never knew it. Along the way, our youth made videos about their feelings and their perspectives and how this trip changed those and changed their lives. I want to thank each of them for their courage to go and to experience what are often not easy things to hear, look at, or remember. I want to thank the adult leaders who put it all together and made it possible, and to all of them, a huge thanks from me for including me and letting me drop in for a time. I will cherish that time always. I hope you enjoy this wonderful, inspiring, and challenging review of a great trip. As I was growing up, I always heard that the South is a totally different world. When I came down here, I really wanted to learn what that other world is like. I was really looking forward to seeing the Civil Rights Museum because in Washington it's not really a topic that's very widely covered and I felt like it would be a good experience to learn more about the Civil Rights Movement. I decided to come to the South because I wanted to learn more about social justice outside of the classroom and experience it firsthand. I was looking forward to learning about how people fought for their rights during the Civil Rights Movement in this trip, and something that really had a big impact on me was learning about the slave trade. Getting to see all of the tangible pieces of history from all of the things that we've learned about, and then being able to go out and actually see the places where this history has happened. Integration was so important, Little Rock Nine. It's amazing that they were actually there, they had actually walked those halls, they had been there, and then I was there. <laughs> We went and we stood in the school and, we, and I, I realized this is an operating high school, this could be my high school. The most impactful thing about this trip was how real everything is. Meeting all these people is just really inspiring. The people we met in museums and tour guides and at just like on the street. The South really does a good job of bringing people together with hospitality. Do you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? We're finding out how the civil rights movement went, not only for the African American community, but also the LGBTQ and uh, women's rights that connects with us trying to find peace amongst all people. What's brought me the most hope from this trip has been the youth, because so many of us care about this stuff and we care about social justice. I think that that means that our future is going to be better because teens and people in my generation have started to educate themselves. In our baptismal covenant, we promise to love our neighbors as ourselves. Before I came on this trip, I thought that the civil rights movement was more about how 
one race hated another, through the people I've met and the experiences I've had here, I've learned that love is the only way that we will solve these issues in the future.